Hey guys, big video today. I'm going to take you out to Santa Monica, California from Minneapolis in just a second, but I wanted to give it a small introduction because the video that you're about to see was me out on Santa Monica Beach before I went to Tony Horton's house to do a workout, which was on my list of things to do for quite some time. If you don't know my story, blah, 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 is I started with P90X back in 2009. Fast forward to 2017 right now, and I've done numerous workouts pretty much nonstop since that day. My life has changed considerably. So this was a big moment for me, and I don't have a lot of the pictures of the, the workout in this video. That might be coming soon, but I didn't, when I was there, I didn't do a bunch of snapping pictures. I was just trying to be in the moment and focus on the, the exercises, the moves, and the people there. So with that, Cue the Santa Monica video. This is pretty awesome. Check it out. Check it out. I'm going to see if I can flip around. I'm not sure if this works. Yes, it does. These houses down here, it's just a single file row of houses. And Alyssa, my daughter, says that pink one is on Instagram or something. Or I don't know anything about it, but it looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's the pier over there, the Santa Monica Pier. And it's been cloudy since I've been here. A couple sunny days, but it's trying to peek through. Look at all the clouds, AKA smog over there. Not sure which one is which, but this is really surreal. I was just driving through the hills behind me. Let me check this out. I'll get to my point here too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hello, Mr. Henry, Sarah, what's up? So, many of you that follow me on Facebook know my story of fitness. I'm kind of fanatic. Hopefully you can hear me. But in 2009, I started P90X with someone that created it by the name of Tony Horton. Sarah, Tony Horton created the program. He created several other programs. Long story short, I'm gonna go visit Tony this morning and work out in his backyard. So that's been on my list for a long time. And I also crossed off on a few other things on the list this weekend, just things that don't even cost money. Things like epic sun, sunset shots, say that six times fast, with my daughters. And that's gonna go right above my couch in my new house. And then the other one was hiking, running canyon, and just overlooking the city, clearing my head, getting some mental clarity. It's just been, it's been awesome. Spending time with family, going to the wedding, my cousin's wedding, and what else did we do? It's been not even really hitting the pool or anything, but it's just, it's the simple things for me. And a lot of things that I've been visualizing I'm creating it in my head and I'm just expecting them to happen. And guess what? I'm pursuing it, pursuing it, and pursuing it with a lot of confidence and all of a sudden, ta-da, it happens. It's like magic. Not really, but when you set your, when you set your mind up to, to success, you're gonna expect failure along the way, or you should. There's gonna be a lot of failure. I fail all the time, but I don't always, probably mention it as much as I should because sometimes people think things are even easier for me and they're not. They're probably way more difficult because I've had a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges recently over the last year or so, but I've had huge success and huge changes at the same time. Sure, what's up? You guys have, it's actually warmer in Fargo in Minneapolis than it is here. It's only like, it's probably not even 70. So I'm gonna flip this camera around again, if I can figure that out. So behind, or actually, that's the pier again. Come on, Greg. Behind me, behind me here, the hills is where I'm going next, and I was just up there. And I think it's where the O.J. Simpson stuff was, Brentwood and all that kind of thing, which gave me a little bit of a pit in my stomach because it was, um, I still don't know if you can actually hear me, but it's so loud down there. Um, that whole story and the whole thing was, just gave me this pit in my stomach, but. So I'll be 
up in the hills here shortly. Gymnastic workout in an upper body. And the new groom is going to join me, E-Man, from the wedding just Friday night. It's going to be pretty awesome. And I have to admit I cried already this morning. I know how to share my feelings. For about probably 12 and a half years I never cried once and now it's uh, rain falls all the time. So I think, and there's a lot more ups and downs because I'm more open to, and I understand myself a lot more. So yeah, I heard about, I put my car in my new garage in my studio, so I don't have to worry about that. But when I get back, the fitness studio is going to be put together and things are really moving along. I have all my new appliances. Things are happening. What do you think? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Can you tell I'm excited? I, I got up at like 4.30 this morning and I couldn't sleep and I never sleep. Or I never have a, I never have an opportunity or I never can sleep is what I'm trying to spit out. It was, I'm just excited and I'm excited for life and I'm confident. I'm uh, embracing change and embracing failure because I know as much as I fall down, there's a lot of really cool, crazy things on the other side that's called success. I don't think a lot of us really embrace it. We think perfection is the success story, but it's not. It's not at all. So let's just soak it up here for a second. I'll show you a little bit more. Let's just flip this around. Once again, there's those houses down there. That's cool. Up in the hills, I'll have to take some more pictures. I've said, if you've been following the last couple days of my profile, I have tons of pictures in an album. They're just epic. The, the sunset last night was phenomenal. And then we, we hit this place called Shade, if you're ever going to LA, in the Rodondo Beach area, and you want to stay at a swishy hotel, Shade. And the restaurant was awesome. They even give you blankets because it was cold. Who knew I had to go to LA to get cold? And then there's uh, the Georgian Hotel, I think it is. I think that's probably fam famous or something. Oh, what do you know? Someone walking along the beach. There's probably a yoga studio around here somewhere and a juice bar. This is the life. And even Alyssa told me the other day, she's, you probably saw that in a little video. Dad, I think I want to move to Santa Monica. So we're going to look at options. Alyssa, if you're watching this, that's the cool thing about being a parent is is these trips are way more the experience is so much more than than just going to a pool it, it helps expand your horizons and you start to think a little bit differently maybe I'll uh, start looking at options and if I have to travel here a little bit more often just to visit I will do that so I can't get enough of this I need to I've been drinking too much coffee but this is just natural energy I have to go snoop around a little bit more but if you want um, or actually follow the my profile if you don't for all the pictures from today and one other thing I'm not gonna be one of those fanboys hey woo, look at pictures, pictures ch -ch 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 -ch. smile from this angle from that angle from this angle from that angle how about one from the other side no I'm gonna be in the moment I'm gonna soak it up with that I'm out. Talk soon, guys.